There's nothing more frustrating than trying to open an Ableton Live project and getting missing media files. Today I want to talk about why that happens and what we can do to find those files if we ever run into this situation. Right here, I have my VHS Vapor Machine project. And inside of it, we've got an Ableton Live set, a preset file, some sample files, more presets, and some other stuff we don't need to worry about for the sake of this video. We need to understand how Live references files. So in this project, we've got this Ableton Live set, and it's referencing samples found in my sample folder. So Live is looking for any audio files within these sample folders. If the relationship between these folders changes, Live's not going to be able to find it. A way to think about it might be like this. I have a box of guitar picks. This is where I keep my guitar picks. When I want to use a guitar pick, I look in here, I find it, and now I can use it. But if I put it someplace else, like right here, the next time I go to open my guitar pick box and look for my guitar pick, it's not going to be there. I'm going to think it's missing. And that's the same thing Live does with samples. If we move the samples folder, Live is not going to find the samples where it expects to find it, and it'll give us this missing files message. I'm going to open up this project, and everything opens as expected. And we got sound. Perfect. Let's now move the samples folder to my desktop. I'm going to reopen this file. Now we get the media files are missing message and nothing is making any sound. Very frustrating. So let's click here to find out more. Now we can see our media browser on the right hand side and we see all the files that are missing from our project. So Live has some nice ways to search for missing samples. We've got an automatic search and we can set the folder. So if we know where our files are, we can set the folder to our desktop, which I have right here, and Live will search in our desktop for that. It will also search the project and search our library as well. Since I know where the file is, I don't need to have these selected. So I'm gonna select Go. Live is gonna search and it found those files and it replaced them automatically. And now we have sound again. If we don't save our project, Live's not going to remember this relationship. I'm going to open this project again without saving. Then we have the problem again, missing media files. So I'm going to click here. Now I want to show you what happens if you have more than one copy of those samples on your computer, which I happen to have for this project. So I'm going to select yes and yes so that Live is going to search my desktop, my project, and my library. And what did you know, 380 new candidates have been found. And if we look at these different files, it says we have different candidates. There's six copies of these files on my computer. So I'm going to click this question mark, and it shows me the six different files. You can hear they're all the same. They're all copies of each other. And let's suppose I select this one and double-click it to replace it. It says that I still have missing files. Should Live try to resolve all those missing files by looking in that same spot? And I'll say yes and it's gonna take all of those missing files from that spot and apply them to my set, and everything is now working as we would expect. At this point, it's important to save your project. And now when I open up this project again, Live will know to look for those samples on my desktop. Now let's suppose I put this sample file back inside this project so now i've changed the relationship again so again i've learned that my guitar pick is now over here but then i've decided to put the guitar pick back in here and now when i go to look for it here it's not there and i think it's missing and the same thing happens with live when i open this project again see now live thinks the files are missing so again we can go through the process again we know it's in our project now so i'm going to select no for these two select go and live replaces it as expected so as long as you have not deleted the files from your computer live should be able to find it but how do we make sure that this doesn't happen in the first place suppose you want to share a project with somebody else and you want them to receive all of your files or you want to archive a project and you want to be able to open it up years later so that it still opens properly without missing media files i talk about all that stuff in this video right here thanks for watching